Shalom, shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukaha Kudash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the elder bishops at GMS, Great Millstone, that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, Shalom, right? So this your brother Shopper, man. So I was watching the brother Amawada Baz lesson. He was doing a live. And so, yeah, man, talking about trying to put Israelites in a chokehold and make them get it and force the truth into them. Hey, Israelites just hard-headed. From hard-headed ass Eve that know everything, like the chick come up there on the, uh, yesterday outside on the live. Oh, shouldn't that be Palestine? Shouldn't that? Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. We, you, you, you proud. Oh, oh, y'all were, y'all worshiping, y'all idolaters, cause y'all worshiping, um, Yahweh Shai. We got the law, statutes, and commandments. We OT only Israelites. As an OT only Israelite, one, you throwing away the New Testament. Okay, cool. You throwing away the New Testament. So that means you dealing with the book of the law, the book of Leviticus. Under the law, under the first covenant, you would have to be a priest from the line of Aaron. Just to even go into, just to even go into the temple. Not even to, to, to touch the Bible, the preach, or nothing like that. Because under only the Levites was able to um, preach. That's one. That's number one. Two, you would have to be yourself without any infection, without any blemish, without any sore, without any scab, without anything like that to preach. That's, that's two. Three, if you was the transgressor law, you would have to have and be able to sacrifice a lamb, a goat, or something like that, that's a one-year-old male without blemish. Three. <laughs> Three, on top of that, any transgression of the law, a serious one, means that you would be put to death. None of y'all are doing that. Y'all are not meeting that standard, man. Y'all are not meeting that standard. But the, the hard-headed ass niggas, man. And we don't care. Stay hard-headed. We do not care. We do not care. We do not care. We do not care. You don't believe in the Lord and you won't run with the Old Testament only. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Because we understand that y'all niggas ain't listening. We understand that. And the Lord don't want y'all to listen. Ezekiel chapter 3 and 7. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Yeah. So we know. Y'all ain't want to listen to the Lord. Even Israelites and in the, in the Moses came down before Moses even came down. Y'all already was made up golden calves and shit like that. So you OT only niggas. Israel wasn't even following that. They wasn't even following that. Look. They wasn't even following that. They say, oh, Israel wasn't even following Moses. Look, where is it at? Where is it at? 106. 106. All over it say hard-headed ass Israelites. Psalms 106 saying. Yeah. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill. Psalms 106 and 32. Then angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes. Yeah, because they provoked his spirit, so that he spake in it unadvisedly with his lips. Yeah, they always was talking shit. Israel was always talking shit. Y'all act like, oh, we got the Old Testament only. We ain't got to believe in Yahweh Shai. Niggas, y'all wasn't listening even when it was Moses talking. Even when it was Moses coming, going straight from the Lord and telling y'all what it was, you niggas still wasn't listening. 
Baruch chapter 2 and 28. 26. Our Lord, our power, thou hast dealt with us after all thy goodness and according to all the great mercy of thine. And thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter, thee, scatter them. Now look, for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. What are you talking about? You niggas wasn't listening to Moses. So you act like, oh, oh y'all y'all niggas wasn't listening to Moses. Jeremiah 15 and 1. Then said the Lord unto me, through Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my mind, cast them out of my sight, and let them go forth. And it, and it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth, then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, such as offer death to death, and such as offer the sword to the sword, and such as offer the famine to the famine, and such as offer the captivity to the captivity. And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour them, to devour and, and destroy. Yeah. You niggas wasn't listening to Moses. So y'all act like, oh, we always, us Israelites, us OT only niggas, we was always obeying the Lord's statutes and commandments. And then we ain't still, y'all came up with this, uh, this uh, New Testament in your house shot. And now, now y'all throwing us off. Nigga, y'all never was listening, nigga. How the fuck we get here then? How the fuck we get in captivity over here in Babylon the Great in America if y'all niggas was listening? Nigga, get out of here, man. Y'all niggas is bugged out, man. Y'all niggas ain't listening, man. Y'all niggas ain't listening. But run run with that. Y'all OT only niggas. Yeah, I just had was going having a back and forth with them. They always want to get into what we believe and what we think and this and this and that. Okay, we know what we believe and what we think. What do you believe in what you think? Do you Are you saying that you're going to be able to keep all of the law, statutes, and commandments perfectly? That you never throughout none of your life have sinned? Because if you break one law, you broke them all. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So if you're not a prophet... If you're not going out there on the highways and byways, if you're not listening to a prophet, you don't know what's going on in the scriptures. You have no fucking clue what's going on in the scriptures. But that's okay because Israel is a hard-headed-ass nation. We know that. Israel is a hard-headed-ass nation. Hard-headed. Hard-fucking-headed. But the Lord don't want them all to get it. The Lord don't want them all to get it. He don't. He don't want to, some of y'all, he want y'all to be killed. Some of y'all, he want to be killed. Missile fool, Matthew 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of the most high, a kingdom of heaven. But to them, it is not given for whosoever hath to him shall be given. And he shall have more abundance, but whosoever have not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Therefore, speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not. And hearing, they hear not. Neither do they understand. They don't understand. They not going to understand. And because you don't understand, hard-headed ass niggas, man. Hard-headed ass niggas, man. And we don't care nothing about y'all. And when the killing start, we gonna laugh. When the killing start, we is gonna laugh, man. We are gonna laugh, man. We are gonna laugh. All you proud ass women, all you OT only niggas, we gonna see how that get you. Where that get you at? Cause it ain't an OT only nigga out there that could say he lived perfectly. 
It ain't one of you niggas out there that could say, I live perfectly according to the law. You're a fucking liar. Niggas is, man, y'all niggas make me sick, man. That's why the law gonna kill y'all niggas, man. That's why the law gonna kill y'all niggas. Let me get that. That's why the law gonna kill y'all niggas. Law gonna kill y'all niggas. And we gonna laugh. Second Edges chapter 9 and 8. 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for, for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. For such as are in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Going back to being that hard-headed, stiff-neck-ass people, the same must know it after death by pain. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Yeah, so read this again slow motion. And therefore be not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care because we know y'all going to be punished. And when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. Then answered I and said, I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. So yeah, so y'all niggas just keep running y'all mouth. We know y'all gonna get it. Because some of y'all was born in vain. 22. Let the multitude perish then which was born in vain and let my great be kept and my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. Yeah. So we know a lot of y'all going to die, man. A lot of y'all scoffers. A lot of y'all niggas scared to do the work. A lot of y'all comment board niggas that's leaving these dumbass comments like the most high. Your Howard got 14 names. All you niggas gonna die. You OT only niggas. You I'm a I'm um I'm a prophetess like the Borum chicks out there. All y'all niggas gonna die. All y'all niggas gonna die. All y'all niggas gonna die out there, man. Cause the Lord not dealing with y'all, and the Lord don't want y'all to get it. So the Lord could kill y'all, man. We understand that. The Lord gonna kill y'all, man. 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, and whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. Yeah. For we preach not ourselves, but of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, of Yahweh Shai's sake. Yeah. We not preaching this. We the, the Lord clearly say he going to kill y'all, man. He going to kill y'all. Two thirds of his people to be exact. The Lord said he going to kill y'all. So, so run your mouth. Keep talking. Keep being hard headed. And at the end of the day, we going to see. We going to see. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. And I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my power. So you need to have the correct names. In your time of trouble, who you going to call on? Who you going to call? 
So yeah, you hard-headed ass Israelites out there that can't get it. You can't get it because the Lord don't want you to get it. So keep this same spirit right here. Keep that same spirit. Jake and Eve, keep that same ass loud mouth combative. I know what the hell I'm talking about when I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Keep that same spirit. And we're going to see what happened to y'all niggas, man. So with that one, we're going to close out. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukah HaKadosh. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the elder bishops at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike to a speckled bird. Tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations unto the remnant, men, women, children. Remain spiritual out there. Quam Yashra. In a Bible Bible. Rock a thumb family. Shalom. Yeah. If y'all can't get it, we moving on. We don't care. We do not care if you don't get it. We don't care. It ain't for us to make you get it anyway. We not putting you in a chokehold. We not doing nothing. You don't want to get it. You don't want to listen. You think you know more than the men teaching. Run with that. Shalom.